everyone. Since today is Sunday, that means we are going to dive into another random video. And today I thought, why not have this random video be discussing uh, two of the most widely used social media websites that I partake in, um, for the most part. I mean, yes, I do do email and all that jazz as well, but these sites in particular are pretty well known, and <laughs> I think everybody in the 21st century is pretty much aware of them. And these two social media sort of sites include Facebook and YouTube. Yes, Facebook and YouTube. And I think that everybody sort of has their own pros and their own cons with both of these particular websites, as I will discuss in this video, but this is just coming from my own personal opinion as to what these certain pros and cons are of these two websites. Um, I believe that Facebook, as well as YouTube, has a lot to offer. Um, and with offering a lot of things, there comes these really positive aspects to to both of the websites that I find to be fairly productive for our society, especially since you can anybody can pretty much make a YouTube account or pretty much anybody who has access the only thing you need is just access to the internet and you can just bam do you have so much power within your hands by just being able to go on the internet uh, now, especially with YouTube and Facebook. But this is just my own personal opinion of the pros and cons of both the websites. Um, I think everybody has their own ideas as to uh, what the certain pros and cons are of each of these websites, but I think for the most part uh, these were the things that I think stood out to me as to being sort of the uh, positive as well as negative aspects of both the, these websites. Now first I'm going to discuss Facebook and the pros that I found with Facebook in particular um, and what I like about Facebook is I, I like the privacy settings, I, I like the idea that you can um, invite whomever you want into your circle. It's not like you have to be um, somebody who puts everything out there for the world to see. Um, even though there is, there is a certain argument that could be said that in the end Facebook ultimately doesn't give you 100% privacy, I still like the fact that there are these settings that you can have, like you can block people, you can um, delete comments or whatever, you can uh, unfriend people if you want to too, you know, it's, it's, it allows you to sort of control this, this kind of circle that you have when it comes to being on the internet and I think that's very important and I think a lot of people sort of need that kind of um, way of structuring their social interactions and I think uh, since Facebook is a major social interaction for a lot of people it does kind of make sense that um, that with Facebook uh, these there would be these privacy settings and it seems like that as the website has gone on they've sort of added all of this stuff in of like blocking people creating uh, updates and at the same time being able to share videos and all these different things and I think that's that's fairly interesting to see a, a website evolve so much and become so much a part of a lot of people's lives now whether you dislike or like Facebook regardless I still think that for the most part I feel like I'm in control of Facebook and I like the fact that I sort of keep my Facebook as well as my YouTube account separate um, because I feel like I have my own little realm of YouTube and then I have my own little realm of Facebook. So uh, I, I like how it's it's sort of like in your hands, it's in your control and I think that's what a lot of people want from a w social media website 
and I think that's really what Facebook provides a lot of people with. Uh, as well as, there's also other things though that could be said, um, and also the fact that there's a lot of sharing that I've mentioned earlier that just goes on with Facebook and how you can share pretty much anything that you want and you have that kind of control I think is is just something that's fairly positive for the most part as well which I think is another uh, interesting pro that you have with Facebook um, and Facebook is fairly time convenient too and the thing of with Facebook too is not only is it time convenient but it's free um, all you have to pay for really is internet but you don't have to pay to be on Facebook it's not like a cell phone um, but now a lot of cell phones now can integrate Facebook um, with the cell phone so if you're on the go or something and I think that's fairly a fairly good way of approaching um, socializing when certain things come up and then they're t have they have certain uh, abilities to be time can they have certain abilities that allow so social interaction to be time convenient and I like that I like how you can just say something simple on Facebook and it doesn't need to you don't need to go the extra mile of calling somebody just to ask them a question or to uh, ask about meeting up eventually. Uh, I find that a lot easier when it comes to communicating to just write it down to somebody and send it to them uh, than having to call them and and then even if I call them maybe they're not home or they're out doing something with with Facebook or with instant messaging it's pretty much you just send it and then they can respond whenever that it's time convenient for them so it really bridges that time convenience gap that I think is really important for a lot of people and that's why I think it, Facebook is so distinct too is just by the fact that it's free it's not like you have to pay a cell phone fee and it's not like you have to worry about uh, a plan or anything you can just go on Facebook and write a message so that's another factor as well as being in touch with people around the world it's not like it's 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 limited and if you try to call somebody or text somebody that lives in another country that's that's not the easiest thing in the world so it's it's really nice to have this feature within Facebook that just allows you to connect with the entire world in a whole different way and and it's it's really crazy how the how the world has changed so fast especially with the internet but I think these are really all the pros that I really have for Facebook. I think for the most part what I've what I've explained is fairly a general view. And I think what a lot of people admire about the website is the fact that you kind of control a lot of what you have, even though there may be certain aspects within Facebook that you obviously can't control. But that's kind of the same thing with real life, too. I mean, sometimes things within, within real life you really can't control either. But for the most part, I feel genuinely safe on Facebook. I can share a lot of information to whom I want to, when I want to. Uh, it's just it's just a very powerful social media tool uh, that I think is is fairly important, and I think a lot of people would like to use and uh, and would like to be a part of. So it's 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 fairly convenient in that sense. Um, so I think these are really, though, the major pros that I have with Facebook. Now as for the cons, I think there's, there's people who are going to have different opinions of the cons. Um, I think some people just get rather annoyed at cert what certain people update on. Um, I, I really don't like the like this if, you know you blah 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 you know they'll they'll have like a picture or something that kind of behavior I just think is just so attention grabby and doesn't really um, doesn't doesn't really offer anything enlightening just to 
have somebody tell you to like something. Um, I think it's just not a good way to get attention. I think there's a lot of different ways where people can display attention if they want to receive attention from somebody, somebody or something. Really, I mean, all, <laughs> you don't need to make a Facebook account just for people to, to you know, uh, like it uh, and, and, and tell people to like it and tell people to, to do that and tell people to do this. Um, I, I think that the, just the fact that you're, somebody's telling you to do something, um, I, I, think it's, I think it's just bad marketing for me. Um, and I'm in marketing and I think it's, it's, I think it, it, it annoys more people than it really, um, than it really, uh, than it, it really enlightens people or makes people, uh, happy or calm. Uh, when they see all these people posting things and saying like this like this like this like this you know like it you have to like it you have to like it because I said so it's like no um, I don't actually I have free will here um, <laughs> really it's I don't understand that I don't understand what the appeal is of people telling you like this do this follow me do this all this stuff please do it all you know it's 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 really it really doesn't it really doesn't get me to wanting to um, like it because I'll like it if I think it's cool you know I, you don't need to put like in there so I, I think that's really a a thing with Facebook that's really bothered me is just people trying to get attention for the sake of getting attention. Um, Another thing that kind of bothers me with Facebook with, that's part of my cons is when people write lyrics or, or stuff, um, you know, that kind of really, it's, it's alright once in a while to, to write something that you find inspirational and stuff, but if you're doing it multiple times, you know, you can just put it within your inspirational quotes. I mean, that's within Facebook. You're allowed to do that. That's what I do with my quotes. I don't, like, write a quote, um, and I don't write a quote and then, uh, expect people to like it and even though it's the lyrics of somebody else's, you know, popular song or something like that. I think it's it should go within your quotes if you like what the lyrics are saying. Y you know, it that just makes more sense to me. Um, I just don't understand why people have to write lyrics in order to get people to notice what they're writing about and for people to like it. Um, because it's really a repetition of what everybody already knows. I know these lyrics. Like, I've, I've heard of these lyrics before. Um, there's also these other things that people do on Facebook, too, where you can, um, uh, where you can, I guess it's like, um, just, uh, I think it's something to the effect of where you can gather coins I don't I don't really know how this works I'm, I'm sometimes even myself Facebook ignorant but it's I think it's it's part of this game called 21 questions and oh my gosh that game frustrates me so much and one of my friends on Facebook keeps sending me the 21 questions and I go no this is stupid and then I literally looked the questions up as to what people and I guess it's questions about you and then somebody answers the question and it's the stupidest it's the stupidest thing in the world because all these questions are so you know they're so trivial and some of them are kind of just mean-spirited questions or like fairly like personal questions like is this person a good kisser like literally that was one of the questions that <laughs> that was part of my 21 questions that this friend sent to me and I go what? What is the point of doing this? This is stupid. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to sit there and answer questions about people. I mean, it's 
it's it just feels so catty and 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 then especially when they're asking such dumb questions like you know is Michelle this is Michelle that does Michelle do this it's like and then they're making a judgment like yeah I know what she does Psh, yeah that she, yes she does this no she doesn't do this you know and you go that's not what it that's not me what why are these people saying yes or no or when they or why are they saying no when they should say yes or when it, it when it doesn't make any sense um how, how they answer the questions it's just it's just stupid judgment calls it's just stupid judgment call questions. That's all they are. They're they're just they're just asking you to make a judgment about somebody and asking that f judgment in the form of a question. It's it's really uh, I just can't stand that twenty one questions thing. I really think Facebook should just ban it. <laughs> I think they should just ban twenty one questions uh, because it's stupid. It's just it's the dumbest thing in the world for me and. I really don't like it when people send me it because it's it, it it feels like you're just degrading a friendship right there by just saying yeah I'm gonna answer questions about you and ooh uh, it's uh, it's just a drama it's just a drama fest why bother with that stuff just I don't get it um and this is also sort of more of not so much a more personal gripe that I have with certain aspects of Facebook, but also with um, the fact that in general you can actually make an account up. Like, you know, you can just go and log on to Facebook and make up a name and account and put up fake pictures and stuff. You, you know, you're, you're able to do that. And it is kind of scary that somebody can do that. Um, I don't know how that's possible to that somebody would think yeah I can make a fake Facebook account and somehow get people to like me or friend me or whatever I don't understand that but apparently it's there <laughs> apparently it's there and you can use it and you know you can just make stuff up it's 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 like you can make up the fa you can make up the idea that you live on or the place that you live on is Mars. I mean, you can pretty much do anything with how, because again, you have that control to do so. Uh, and I think even one of my friends, she said she ended up meeting somebody who ended up really making what was like a fake Facebook account, pretty much. Um, and she just, yeah, she just told me and said, yeah, that's what happens, you know, he wasn't the guy I thought he was. <laughs> and I go, yeah, that's probably not a good sign. Um, especially when, you know, they, they make up their work occupation, you know, or they, they, they just basically lie about who they are, and people are capable of doing that. So it's obvious that Facebook has this, has this issue, and obviously you can't have blame Facebook for it because they don't really have control over that um, you know people can make up whatever they want and in the end of the day that's maybe not really them and it's it's just one of those things where the internet becomes a hive for you know people to do crazy stuff and that's one of the crazy things that I've heard about with Facebook and that's why I put it as a really major con here um, So, the, that's that con. Uh, there's also another con. It's, it's kind of like a, it's in the middle between a con and a pro, for me personally. Because at the same time, while I get, yeah, you want to be inspirational and help people out and, you know, maybe have, uh, put something up that sort of reflects upon you. But at the same time, it's just it just gets frustrating when people just keep posting these inspirational quotes and like, like oh look at this quote and oh look at this quote and oh look at this quote. All of these inspirational quotes about um, about stuff uh, when they can just again put it where the quotes go in their profile. You know, and if people really wanted to look up what their quotes were, what their inspirational quotes were, they could look them up <laughs> on their Facebook. 
I, I just don't understand why people have to go and um, go on on the f Facebook feed page and, and put all of these different pictures and have an inspirational quote in there of about love or or <laughs> or life or it's just I just don't understand why that that that's really necessary um, it, it seems like most people now on Facebook don't really write you know statuses anymore a lot of my feed now it's it's all like pictures and 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 people liking pictures and people sending pictures and it's really become a picture fest um facebook nowadays and it doesn't seem like a lot of people really update their status so much um it seems like more now that people on facebook just put in a bunch of pictures and a lot of the pictures aren't even theirs or are of their friends. No, it's just all these inspirational, like, uh, quotes or pictures. And I understand if you like an inspirational quote slash picture page. If you do that, then you can get that all throughout your feed. But don't share it with everybody else because not everybody else wants to l listen or read all of these inspirational quotes. So, yeah, it's just, it's, 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 at the same time, some of the quotes are nice, and, you, you know, I, I sometimes go, ooh, this quote's so cool, I mean, I, I want to like it, but at the same time, it's like, these people are just doing it for attention, and it's like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? You know, so it's, it's that kind of a pro-slash-con thing that goes on throughout my head, because at the same time, it might actually help somebody out, you know, but at the, but at the end of the day, when you're just doing it tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of times a day, it's really just for the attention, and I, I really don't understand why there has to be so much of those, and there can't be any, you know, just statuses of what people are doing, uh, or, or, or what people are engaging in. You know, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of that anymore. And... Yeah, I mean, and I think also uh, a lot of people have really made their um, profiles fairly not private at all. Um, it seems like people are, are willing to post whatever, and then they'll get into these Facebook debates with people. And it's, it's, it's sort of Facebook is becoming YouTube in that sense where, um, you know, there's a lot of YouTube debates that go on in, like, comment sections. I just go over these videos and, and go really these people are arguing over this I mean I mean we've seen this tons and tons of times you know you you don't need to argue over something like this um, something petty I understand if some people want to have a debate on on certain issues that are important you know I think that's that's fairly understandable um, but at the same time it it, it seems like Facebook um, is doing kind of that same thing ex like YouTube is with these debates but at the same time it's it's like with with people you know that you, you probably don't even know and and then, and then at the same time it's like with YouTube and it's it's still these kinds of just you know pointless debates that people have with each other about uh, stuff and then people get mad over something that somebody said and then and then get all offended over it and it's it's just kind of yeah it's just oh it's 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 hard to open my Facebook and not see this happening um, and and it's not hard for me to go on a YouTube video and see a lot of that stuff happening so yeah that's just another another frustration that I have because it, 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 it the, the, the arguments are just so petty and people complain about the most insignificant things that yeah it's just it's just not I just don't think it's productive I, I understand if you want to have a productive debate and the interesting thing though too is is, is that they have really blogs for this um, blogs are more intended for argument for debates and debates specifically that you are really interested in and that you want to engage in 
those kinds of blogs are really the blogs that people should go to you know I mean I think they would get so much more value out of it than just having just putting comments on Facebook of something that maybe relates to what they're saying um, especially considering the fact that once you commented on Facebook you know you'll see what all the other people commented on and um, have all that jazz exposed so really I, I guess it's just one of those things where I, I go, yes, you can argue that there's nothing wrong with arguing or debating on Facebook or YouTube or any other social form of social media, but when you're doing forms of petty arguments that don't go anywhere and really don't have a point, um, then I don't see why there should be even a debate at all and why people are wasting their time doing it. and. I just don't, I just don't want to even be a part of it. So it's like, uh, it's just, and then everybody takes everything, every little thing that somebody says personally. And, oh, it's, it's, it's really dumb. It's, it's just dumb. It's just people wanting to make trauma. And it's, it's, it's frustrating. It annoys me. It just really bothers me. Uh, but I think that's really all I can say about that. And the last thing that I wanted to discuss on Facebook that's kind of been a new thing now that they're doing, um, it has to deal with ads. I mean, usually there wasn't a lot of ads when I started Facebook back when I just started college. Um, cause I felt like Facebook was more of a college based website anyway. Uh, and I thought getting a Facebook in high school was just kind of <laughs> pointless. Um, but I did get one once college started and there wasn't really a lot of, like, commercialism so much. Um, and I don't even know if they had pages back then. Did they even have pages three years ago? But now they have all of these pages and, um, all of these ads on the side of, of different things. And some of the stuff, it's is kind of, yeah, it is interesting because you can, you know, go to maybe a movie page and you can like the movie page and you can figure out, like, when the movie is playing and things like that. I mean, I think those those kinds of things aren't bad. But there's just, like, these ads that, um, that just kind of pop up and it's it's kind of the same thing with their apps to, like, come and add this app in and do this and do that and it's usually friends who's who's friends of mine who send like these apps and stuff and I go I don't want to have this app no just don't they're just gonna send me a bunch of crapola that's all they're gonna do it's it's all like a marketing gimmick um I just don't see how how it how that's being productive to Facebook so much by having all of these different ads I mean, I understand if they, you know, had, um, if they were trying to get companies to become more exposed, and I think, yes, the Facebook page really does help companies a lot, um, but at the same time, some of the ads are just, I just don't think are necessary, and don't really need to be there so much, um, and... Yeah, it's, it's, I, I just don't see why there, that it needs to be plastered with ads everywhere. Um, but this is not only for Facebook, though. Every website is pretty much crumbled with these. This is really a, a, a con that's pretty much a, a con of the internet nowadays because it has become so commercial. So it does make sense that there are ads and there will be ads everywhere. But, um, at least with the ads on Facebook, I think they're fairly downplayed, um, compared to YouTube, which I'll get to later, but I think in the end, it, it's, the ads are kind of like a pro, they're in between a pro and a con, like with these inspirational quotes, um, because at the same time, they do expose companies and it, they do allow people to get more invested in things that they particularly like or, inter or, or are interested in. 
but at the same time it's just sometimes these these ads are just yeah a gimmick uh, especially when they tell you to go like this or do this app or put this app in and um, and then you get ads because you just put in that app so it's it's really and it's it's especially hard too when my friends keep sending me those things because I'm like I don't want to, they're, I'm gonna be bombarded with ads anyway and I don't even want to add this app thing in there why would I do this uh, so really that's the uh, that's really all the cons that I have with Facebook for the most part. Um, can couples get lovey-dovey at times? Yeah, I think we've seen that all on Facebook and I think a lot of people are can be irritated with that and yeah, I kind of understand that. And sometimes that goes in hand with the inspirational quotes because you know they they've been with someone so long and then that then that's then they have this inspirational quote about, you know, wanting, you know, being with that person and 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 it somehow relates to their to their to their life and it's like you don't need to declare your love on Facebook you you you, you don't I mean you don't need to put pictures of you of you guys making out or of you guys you know being all lovey-dovey you know hugging and and those kinds of things and spending time together and smiling yeah those are more than welcome but when you're literally trying to upload picture after picture of people shoving their faces in sh people being together and kissing to the point of to the point of where it should be more private um, especially since I'm a little bit more of a private person I mean I don't <laughs> even though I do make YouTube videos I don't like this idea of people just posting things that are just that don't really need to be there and I mean, I even saw this too at one point. There was uh, one girl from high school who literally posted a picture of herself, and I guess she's bi, uh, and she was making out with this other girl. And I go, really? You don't need to put this up on Facebook, okay? You know, stop trying to get attention out of people. It's just all an attention grab, I think, a lot of the time too. It's like, look at what I have, and it's like, at the same time I go, I don't care. I don't care what you have. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, it's nice to know that you have somebody. I appreciate you. I'm happy for you. But you don't need to shove it in my face. <laughs> you know, you don't need to put it in there and just go, yeah, uh, look at what I have and mm-hmm and yeah, it's so awesome and it's amazing and yes, I mean, I'm, I'm glad that you're happy, but you don't need to say it, 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 it's, it's, it's it's almost to the point where it's too shoved in your face like boom boom and it just like it, it feels like they're punching you every time they post something and says oh look at look at me and my boyfriend and this inspirational quote and <laughs> oh god it, it it baffles me it really does baffle me but really those are really the only other cons that I really have with Facebook for the most part. I think the cons deal with more of what people do with Facebook rather than the whole concept of yeah somebody making an actual post you know that's that's kind of within a general term and a general sense because it is kind of part of Facebook's whole um, website structure but for the most part these are kind of things that have just happened to me um, that really just they just kind of just go under my skin and they don't really I don't think they are really productive to the website and I don't think it offers um, people a really a, an interesting viewing experience for the most part uh, so yeah I mean I come on Facebook to talk with people or just update a status or look and see what's going on in the news feed and then bye bye I am out the door bye bye I don't need to deal with this anymore so I think that's really all I can say when it comes to Facebook it's it, it has its good sides for me and it has its bad sides as well 
And I think that's really important of what I wanted to express in this video. It's not intended to be fully negative and fully positive at the same time, because I think there's pros and cons in a lot of things. And Facebook, I think, happens to have that. And I think social media as a whole really has that. But, yeah, those are the really the, the, the issues that I've had dealing with Facebook, as well as the positive aspects that I've gotten out of Facebook. Now I'm going to move on with discussing YouTube. YouTube um, has its pros. It's fairly, fairly um, interesting pros. The thing is, is, is that there's a lot of creative stuff on YouTube. I mean, you can find pretty much anything on YouTube. It's, it's almost like a Google, but with videos. Not kidding. Like, Lily, you will find a video with, with if you type in cats, if you type in dogs, if you type in anything onto YouTube, you're bound to find something that's fairly related to it. And I think it allows for a lot of people to have the uh, their creative talents exposed a lot of the time. Um, you can see what a lot of people's content, with a lot of people's content, what they do and what they kind of stand for and, you know, get certain and different opinions on certain topics and issues and it's really become the TV. I think YouTube will probably be a lot of majority of people's TV because everything on TV is all based upon reality TV and not a lot of people like reality TV. I mean, at least the people that I talk with and the uh, friends and people that I hang out with they really don't like this this whole reality TV and I really think YouTube is going to be the future and that's really where a lot of media companies are putting their their dollars on. They're putting their dollars on YouTube because people are going more on YouTube than ever than, than we, what we've seen for the most part because YouTube is such a popular website. I mean it generates so so much. There is no way that not somebody on this planet is not up on YouTube right now. And it's the same thing with Facebook, too. There is always somebody on. There's always somebody getting invested. And, you know, it's it's you could say the same thing about TV as well, but I really believe that YouTube has become such a big platform, especially now since Google bought them recently. So, um... Yeah, I mean, really, since they're all integrated now, it, it, it makes sense that YouTube is really going to be, like, the rising future of TV and creative um, movie as well as social media, um, but through videos and through, through, through art and creativity. Uh, and really, you can get a lot of exposure from YouTube. I mean, just being able to post a video of you singing or you doing something, you know, you can gain a lot of exposure and people can finally see what other people do. And it's it's really interesting. It's it's unbelievable. Um, it's, it's even scary at times and dark, but it's really interesting. Um, and it really allows people to be on top of what's really going on in like the world. Uh, I think a lot of exposure was gained for for it, for the things that are happening in the Middle East right now because of YouTube, because you're able to post videos. You're able to post videos and people can grab a hold of those videos and post them up on YouTube too. It's, it's really become a a global force um, a global massive force of entertainment uh, that people really will watch and really will get engaged in. Uh, and th that's really what YouTube has to offer and I think a lot of what I laid out is really the major pros of YouTube because you can do so much and you can provide so much to the community uh, with what you have to say just based upon a video and it's it's unbelievable <laughs> I find it fascinating and 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 crazy at times uh, but it's but it, it, it works so well um, and it's just so easy to use <laughs> uh, 
But I think that's really all I can say about the pros of YouTube ultimately. It, it, it allows people to share, it allows people to, to view, it allows people to comment, you can express all your opinions, your ideas, all through a video. Or you can express them through comments and write comments about certain videos that you've watched, certain opinions of different films, uh, different mus forms of music, different this, that. It's really all there in front of you. And you can watch it. You can watch whatever you want. Uh, and it's really all up on YouTube and it's for free. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. And the thing is too is, is, is that they generate the money through the ads. and the ads have probably have allowed them to gain that much exposure too, but again, I'll kind of get into the pros and the pro slash con of ads that I mentioned earlier with Facebook that's also with YouTube. But really, those are the major things I think YouTube has to offer to the public. Um, and I think it's it's really interesting, and it's, it's great that, that there is such a place where you can go and you can find these things. Uh, especially since TV is going down the tubes, in my humblest of opinions, uh, when you just look and you you just look at how, what's being produced on TV. So, I think really people are going to YouTube as a source of entertainment, and people enjoy it. And YouTube is making tons and tons and tons of money off of it. So, um, it's it's a, it's an ingenious. It was an ingenious idea. Whoever made up YouTube. You're a genius. You're, you're an unbelievable genius. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's really all I can say about the pros of YouTube. Now the cons. Oh my gosh, the cons of ads. Okay. Um, ads are good for, for, you know, getting people exposed, getting their channels recognized, or um, getting a video recognized, generating money for whatever cause it may be. Uh, I, I know some YouTube websites or YouTube channels do this thing where they just basically donate the money to causes and such, which is which is nice and or they or they have ads on the videos and that's not a problem with me with the ads on the videos. I think that's totally fine. Um, I don't have a general problem with that at all. Um, it's just a, it's just an ad and it's for them so that they can generate some money off of it. And to me that's not a big problem. I don't, I don't really have an issue with that. But what I do have an issue with is there's now whenever I go on there's like these ads just everywhere. Like, and, and then ads that will, there's like these little video ads like off to the side and then sometimes they'll play like right when I'm watching a video they'll start playing this this ad and I go where where's this ad now and then I have to scroll down and I have to figure out where this ad is and then completely like shut it off or just do something so that it'll go away and the thing is with YouTube too is is that since it is a video based website they can make these ads like more motion sensed um, Facebook ads don't really have a, a motion where they're moving, but they're moving in YouTube, and it's just like they just move, and it's so distracting, uh, just so unbelievably distracting, uh, that it's 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 like driving past billboard signs, but except there's it's not like you're passing just one billboard sign; it's like you're passing multiple billboard signs at the same time. Uh, and it's it's really I just don't like these ads at all um, because really it's these ads aren't really they're not for the the channel or anything uh, they're they're just there to be ads I mean be be ads for YouTube and 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 it's just I just I just don't understand why they have to have them why they have to be on like the sides and. And, and distract you from your viewing experience. Um, I really don't understand why and then, then they have to talk and literally interrupt you when you're watching a video because these are like sometimes they're video ads. Um, I just don't understand why that needs to be in there. I, I just don't know why and even even YouTube I mean they could just make picture ads. I mean it's not like that they have to make video ads and 
I, I really, it really is becoming very, very addy, and <laughs> it's like an ad, an ad pool, and, and then, you know, it's, it, to the point where, to the, to the point where I just don't know what to do with these ads, because they just like to pop out whenever they want, they like to do whatever they want, and then you click on something, and then it's accidentally you click on the ad, and then you go, no, 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 I don't want to go to this ad, no, don't make me. <laughs> so, yes, I think the ads um, are just an issue for me, but they do have the pro, and, the, and these are the ads that are just for the video. Um, those ads I don't have an issue with at all, um, if they're the ads for the video, before the video plays. But all these other ads that go on around it, it's just, I just don't know why it's necessary. But I guess it's so YouTube can make more money. Um, but yeah, that's another con that I have. Next con I briefly wanted to discuss was the new layout of YouTube. Um, I, I find it a con because I can barely see whether or not I have a message or not. And the only way I can look and see if I actually have a message is if I uh, go onto my Google uh, email and then I'll know, oh, okay, somebody sent me a message. But man, is it, it it's so teeny. <laughs> the new form, it's so teeny. Um, and then sometimes they don't even show you a message when you do have a message and I really don't understand why they d chose this new layout too. Um, I, I really don't understand this the, the layout that they have now. It's so plain, and for the most part, it's like bombarded with the ads again. And it's I just think that the older format <sighs> allowed for more for creative more creativity. And I remember when YouTube used to have, like, star ratings. But that was barely when I was using the internet. But there were star ratings beforehand. And then now they just have thumbs up, thumbs down. And I think the star ratings are, are, are really better because they give you an overall sense of what people, um, how people feel about it. Uh, because you can, you just have more options with the stars than you do with a thumbs up, thumbs down thing. So, don't understand why. Just don't understand why. They have to put that there with this new lay. I uh, didn't understand why they changed that. Um, but again, that's been, the, the star rating hasn't, has been gone for, for quite some time. I mean, even the older, older YouTube layouts uh, did, did already have the thumbs up, thumbs down thing. And, yeah, I just think some some of the changes that they made to the new layouts uh, just didn't, I just don't think really ultimately helped it all that much. Um, and, yeah, I just, I just don't see, um, I just don't see the point in having the, this, new layout when it doesn't really enhance or really change ultimately what YouTube is really set up. Um, except make it a lot more plain and a lot, um, uh, a lot less, a lot less controlled by the user, I guess you could say. So, I, I guess that's really the, the issues that I have with the new layout. It's just not, it's just not the most, I just don't think it's the most uh, productive YouTube layout that they've done, and has it gotten worse over the years? I, I don't really want to say that it has, um, I just think that they need to um, make certain things within the layout more traditional, but still kind of make new things as well. But I do like the concepts of what they put in with like, um, show c previous comment, like if somebody in the YouTube comment section uh, responds to somebody, you can see what that person responded to when originally 
you had to go through the comments and figure out what that person said. So, yeah, and and I and I think that's been a lot a lot more of a of a productive way of having people communicate on YouTube, definitely. Um, but I think that's really all I can say regarding the new layout. Even though there is that pro of having, of over the years, YouTube showing the, um, having certain things updated, I, I still think that just over the years, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's ultimately enhanced so, so much, um, or has been so, so much productive, uh, compared to uh, what they originally had set up. The only real pro I see with this, with the whole layout, all, all the layouts that they've done over the years, is, is a having the show comment, you know, just show this comment so you can see what somebody else wrote. Um, that's really, that's really all I can see from the new layout that I find positive because it seems like everything else within the new layout just makes it more challenging for people and it doesn't really make it a lot easier and for the most part they've made things fairly small in the writing and fairly small um, and then at the same time make the ads a lot bigger. So, yeah, I think this kind of layout goes with the ha with the ads, too, so. But again, other people might have different opinions on that. But uh, I think that's really all I can say about the layout. And another thing that's fairly difficult when dealing with YouTube is is seeing some of the content that comes out on YouTube. Um, some of the content that comes up on YouTube I do find rather offensive or I do find f fairly sickening um, because people just do this out of attention. Uh, it's, it, it is crazy. Um, people, especially people doing more violent type-esque things. Um, I remember one YouTuber that I watched who, who explained how there is these videos of people, like, I almost want to say it's like just literally hurting themselves on camera. Um, I, I, I can't remember exactly what they were doing. I think it was something to do with, with, I want to say it was dry ice or something. I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but. I remember an image of what it looked like and what they would do to that, or what the effects were basically of what they were doing, and it was just so disgusting. And I just said to myself, "Why are people doing this? This is this. Is, they think that this will get them views and that this will get society to somehow be invested in what they're doing." Um, it's just sad. And then seeing videos of like animal abuse. Uh, there was this one video that I remember seeing uh, that somebody reviewed on that literally this lady, like she she up and kills, or, or I think it's I think she literally kills the cat, but she she in, injures him so severely by like I think I I think I remember it was like she she crushed him and with her with her foot, and I go, why are these people posting this on YouTube? Why are people even making a video of this? This is so, this is, this is madness. I mean, it's, and no, it's not Sparta. It's madness. I mean, it's just sheer stupidity. And it's, it's not only stupid, it's, it's, it's sad and it's so degrading. I mean, I, I can't believe somebody would do that. It's, it's horrible. I just don't understand. But it seems like a lot of the, the, the stuff that has been coming out um, that YouTube's been having issues with is, is sort of, you know, the violence factor. Um, these are really the videos that they should be uh, banning. Um, YouTube should not have videos of cats being killed. That's just insane. Like, no, they shouldn't have that. They shouldn't have people hurting themselves on YouTube. No, they shouldn't be having any videos of that either. That's ridiculous. Um, just no no flipping way.
just <laughs> just get those videos away YouTube um, and you know you could stop with like trying to figure out whether or not something is really copyright or not and focus on getting rid of these horrible sad videos that are just just so degrading to 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 society and and it's just it's just depressing that people would do this um, to themselves to others I really don't understand why. And then there was literally, literally, uh, another video that somebody took. I don't know if that person intentionally posted it on, on YouTube, but, I mean, it's kind of stupid to think that if you don't have a camera and a video and then put it somehow on the internet that it's not going to be picked up by YouTube. Um, but literally it was of this guy videotaping his, I believe they were drunk. I was, I think they were like his drunken friends, and it was about literally how laughing at the this 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 girl that ended up being um, sexually assaulted. It was it was just ridiculous. It's it, these videos should not be up on on YouTube or any site at all. Um, if anything, they should just be used for evidence. Which I guess is really the, 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 the where the con become the really horrible con becomes a pro here because it exposes these people. Um, it exposes these people and makes sure that they get their just get their just desserts. I mean, yeah, you can say that what they that these videos shouldn't even be done initially, and that's the whole point, though. I think is that you can say, yeah, that it's a pro in the sense of that, you know, YouTube is exposing these people for who they are. But at the same time, it's like these videos shouldn't be even made in the first place. There shouldn't be these kinds of things happening. Um, you know, this is the 21st century, and people are acting like monsters, and it's insane. I, I don't understand why. I don't understand why these, 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 these violent and just just stupid uh, videos are really out there and of people and some of them are of adults like this this woman looked like she was in her 40s and she and I and I go you literally are gonna have somebody po uh, make a video and post it up on the internet of you hurting a cat I mean I just don't understand I don't understand why this this vi there's all this violence out there. It's it's just so unnecessary. Um, but I mean, that's really a big issue that I think YouTube needs to tackle down. They need to get rid of these videos that um, that degrade our society. And actually, that what they should do is just that they should just use these videos and send them to the authorities because it's it's clear evidence. Um, and luckily, though, we've had people on YouTube. Um, there's this group called Anonymous, I believe, on YouTube. Uh, I think they do videos. And basically, they got a hold of the the sexual assault video that I was talking about. And they're basically taking the law into their own hands because these, these boys are s considered so highly valued within their community because of the fact that they're on the football team. And that's why the judge is going to rule maybe in their favor and that's why anonymous is kind of threatening them and telling them you know you better you better expose who you are um or we're gonna expose you for who you are and um and hopefully there'll be some justice here but at the same time it's just a crazy world it, it's a crazy world youtube um and it's unbelievable to what people have posted and what people have said and what people have done um it's almost it, it, it is it is rather dark and it, it it does feel a lot darker than facebook um at least with facebook it doesn't seem that a lot of what's really happened so much i mean at least from what i can tell on facebook that has been sort of so counterproductive but what i see on youtube is just so much more counterproductive that it's it's sad. Um, even though there is this 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 really good con of or good pro of creativity, 
there's also a, a point to where that creativity is 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 used at such a negative sense that it it really distorts and and ruins what society has to offer. But I think that's really all I can say about that. Um, I'll get off that horse and basically address the last thing that I want to talk about as a con with YouTube, and that's and that's really the copyright stuff because the copyright stuff is not specific and sometimes people's videos get taken down even though they're done under the fair use um, clause which is which is ridiculous because they should be under that and YouTube shouldn't be worrying about that especially when they look at the video and they see oh it's a review duh I mean if it's a review then that means that they're going to use images but they're doing it in the form of review so and it's a form of free expression so they should have that right and I don't understand why they still take people's videos down um, when clearly they're within the law because there is this there is this clause that's supposed to state that if you are reviewing it then it's it's okay to use the content um, uh, and and I don't understand why they 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 make a big deal out of it um, but uh, I guess they do and. Yeah, and sometimes you, your video gets down, sometimes it's okay. Um, I don't even know if they, they'll take this video down just because I'm p pointing out some, some flaws here. Uh, but either way, those are really ultimately the deep down the, the issues that I have with YouTube. But I think that's really all I can say about Facebook and YouTube as a whole. I mean, they they have a lot to offer. They They do have a lot of good qualities to them but there's also a lot of stuff that's really bad as well and that people should be focusing on and people should be trying to make better you know and 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 it's not just the the, the websites themselves or the people involved making the website no it's really a lot of it doesn't really have to do with them so much as it has to do with the people who use them people who use these websites need to use them in a productive manner and they need to do them with a, 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 a certain amount of dignity and responsibility and stop acting like and doing things that are not productive or don't really help um, help with what with what you're what sh for that really help into the people that are involved in your life um, when it comes to Facebook and the people that are involved within your YouTube community uh, so really that's all I think I can really touch on when it comes to YouTube I just and Facebook I just think that they they have their these pros they have these great ideas set up but there's really a lot of people who take advantage of those ideas and um, and who use them, I think, in a more negative way, um, or in a or in a negative way to the point where it's an, an an annoyance for me. And I think again, it's more has to do with uh, more, that more more of my personal gripes are just with Facebook. But I think with with YouTube, these these pros are or these cons are fairly severe. Um, but does that make it a horrible website? Absolutely not. Um, but I think people need to just take a sense of responsibility when they're using social media and I don't think people don't because people don't really think about it but I think if people stopped and thought about what they were doing on Facebook what they were doing on YouTube and just figured out what they're doing is really going to provide something and is really not going to have so so much repercussions to, even though a lot of things do have consequences but are they trying to say something that ultimately is just in a form of free expression? Is that all that it is? And if it isn't, and it's intended to to be harmful for other people, uh, then that's when you really need to draw that line and that distinction. And the the same thing goes with Facebook, except with Facebook, it's not the violence so much it's just people who people who who I think should 
not use certain things within the website because uh, there's just that annoyance factor that I think goes within it for me personally but that doesn't mean I'm telling people not to put inspirational quotes not to have these likes or whatever no you can do whatever you want on Facebook I don't dictate what you can and cannot do on Facebook or YouTube but at the same time I think people should take responsibility for these social media websites and I think people should just be more aware of that and um, and yeah that's really the, the the whole point I think people need to take responsibility and I, and I think the, the majority of people don't take responsibility when they use these websites um, or uh, or the people who who do use the websites um, from what I've seen there's a lot of people within the websites within the or that are using these websites that don't take responsibility however there are a lot of people that do and I think a lot of people um, within the YouTube community as well as in the Facebook community uh, just need to know that just to be responsible and to know what you, if what you're doing is responsible and is not harming or uh, or threatening anybody else but ultimately uh, yeah, I think that's really all I can say. Again, any questions, comments, concerns, more than happy to answer them. But uh, for the most part, I believe that's really all I can state. Just take responsibility. Hi! Awesome. Yeah, everything's good. <laughs> that was just my mom. And as my mom says hello, I will say bye bye.